Hello, how are you everybody? Welcome to the second day of our challenge, Awakening Our Intuition. Let's start off the, the day or the practice of the challenge with a little blessing. Okay, I'm just lighting some Palo Santo here for us. And may we all ground into our feeling of connecting with our intuition. Pay homage to the guards and protectors of the land, the Wurundjeri tribe, the Aboriginal spirits of Australia here, where I am. I pay homage to the guards and protectors of the land where you live. May we receive the blessings and the teachings that awaken us to our intuition. May we all be protected and feel safe within this special place and space of awakening. I pay homage to my parents, to the ancestors of the teachings, to my teachers, spiritual guides, ancestors, angels and divine beings who are here with us helping us along the way to connect with our intuition. May we receive the blessings and open our hearts and our eye, third eye and all of our chakras in, to receive the blessings today in my home okay welcome to the second day i uh, hope that you enjoyed the first day how did you go with uh, feeling your noticing your intuition your inner voice and noticing your monkey mind i'd be very interested to see how you went with that today is the looking at the four different types of intuition different abilities that we have and there are a few more, but these are the main ones that I think we need to address. So when, you're, when you were feeling yesterday your intuition, was it more of a feeling in your gut? Was it more um, seeing images or visions? Was it more hearing? Or was it more feeling, sensing? Because these are different types of abilities that our intuition can present itself to us. We may have one dominant one, or we may have several that we can sense as we are exploring our intuition. Clairvoyance is the name of the first one that you may experience, and you may have heard this before, people saying, I'm clairvoyant. Clairvoyant is clear seeing. So you see images and pictures. Um, they can come in the form of a symbol or uh, a movie, and sometimes it's cartoon-like, so it's not a clear image. You may close your eyes and, and see something that's kind of more uh, a caricature or um, a hologram even, so seeing the different colours. So that is the clairvoyance. Clairsentient is feeling where you sense something. It's a gut feeling that you get inside. It's, it can become like those times when you um, have a gut feeling not to drive somewhere or not to go out somewhere because it's just this feeling that you know something may go wrong in a situation. It's not fear but it's just this gut feeling. Sometimes it can happen in a positive way and you think oh I knew that person was going to call me or oh, I knew that that was going to happen so that's that's going to be more of a feeling and intuition that comes from your feeling and that's called clairsentient. The other one is um, clairaudience audience because um, that's one of the stronger ones that we can connect to it's that um, hearing hearing our inner voice and that was the one that I was referring to a lot yesterday clear or um, and it doesn't sound like it's that inner voice yeah it doesn't sound harsh or critical but it's sort of just like a, a voice that knows and is clear and that you recognize Clear cognizance is the other one, and that is clear knowing. You just get a sense, you know, you get a hunch. Um, you can guess where something is going to happen or not. And that can also come across in your dreams, like if you dream something and then the next day it happens. That's the, the clear cognizance um, level. And today I want you to, the challenge for today is to explore which one you feel it, you're more um, aware of, more dominant with. You will have all four of them, you can develop all four of them, but I recommend when we're awakening our intuition to go for exploring the one that f feels most natural for you. Um, 
if you have clear vision and you're a very visual person and if you can see things intuitively, then practice with your meditation um, to imagine opening up your third eye. And what that will actually do is will help you to connect more um, more strongly with your clair, clairvoyant abilities. So imagine in your screen's eye, um, you opening up your chakras and focusing on the, the third eye chakra because that's where that ability can come from. If you want to uh, practice with your clear sentience, that feeling, um, another thing I didn't mention about that is if you're clear sentient, you you might feel a pain that somebody else is feeling. You'll you'll get a pain in a shoulder, and then maybe your child will come to you and say, oh, "I've hurt my shoulder." So you you're sensing you're very very connected with um, other people's pain. Your meditation that I recommend for you is to create a space where you're having a break from feeling everything, because you're almost like super super sensitive to every, what everybody else is feeling as well as yourself and sometimes um, clear sentient people can't distinguish between what is theirs and, and feeling and what is somebody else's so your meditation today that I recommend for you is to give yourself um, some quiet space where you can just um, recharge and and um, tune into yourself and giving yourself a lot of um, things that uh express your self-love, um, spending time on your own, meditating, having a bath, um, especially things on your own. Getting a massage I wouldn't recommend because then you've got somebody else's energy and you might be feeling into them. So um, clairsentient people, um, give yourself some time to feel less overwhelmed. That is your task for today or tomorrow in this challenge is I challenge you to feel less overwhelmed by giving yourself that space. You'll also end up noticing that you're not so emotional anymore and um, it's a really, really good practice to spend time on your own. Uh, so that's a practice for you. Clear audio, clear audio people. Um, what we can do is we will go deeper into practicing um, listening. So listening to your inner voice, you can actually go in deeper because that's a, a predominant feeling that you're getting. Your intuition is, is quite, um, you know, you can hear it. Um, so you, your practice would be to go in deeper into uh, picking up the messages, uh, clear your clear audio messages, so hearing that inner voice more deeply and then um, not talking to your monkey mind, noticing your monkey mind again, very similar to the practice we started yesterday, noticing the monkey mind but not tapping into it, more focusing on your um, your intuition, your inner voice and what is it that's telling you. Clear cognizant people, you're the ones that are feeling... Um, um, that hunch, that knowing feeling that you've got, you just, you don't know why you know, but you just know. Um, if you feel more that that's your dominant um, intuition, uh, intuitive ability, then I want you to meditate on your heart chakra and the crown chakra. So what that does is, is opens up that, that clear cognizant ability for you. So they're just um, working with the chakras is really important with your intuition. So if you could imagine um, your heart chakras opening up, like your heart chakra opening up like a flower when you're in a safe space of meditation. When you're going out, say, for in a public place, um, it's very important that you shut down your chakras and then imagine that like a closing flower, a closing for the day, yeah? And the crown chakra as well, so you can practice opening up those two. So our practices for today is to tap into which in type of intuitive ability that we have, which one are you more dominant in, and I would love to hear in the comments below which one you feel more connected with at the moment and how you're going to practice um, using that ability today. Thank you for uh, watching the video. I'm just going to uh, let you know that tomorrow is day three and we're going to tap into how to how to I'm going to give you some techniques tomorrow on how to actually quiet, quieten down that monkey mind. To If you're starting to notice your mind and all of the thoughts, we're going to learn some techniques to quieten down that monkey mind. So until tomorrow, I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.